Hi, welcome to a new video from Doc365. I'm Alex. In this video, I will show you how to create a scheduled flow in Microsoft Power Automate. Scheduled flows can be used to send reports, status updates, and reminders to teams and users in regular intervals. Flows help you to save time and resources from repetitive and less productive tasks. It can also schedule tasks and schedule tasks makes things even better. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I was very surprised with some of the options and I'm very happy with the results I got. So uh, let me show you how to do it and make the most of this feature. So to get started with, I'm signed into my Microsoft 365 account and I'm in my Microsoft Power Automate homepage. So from here, you need to click on the create option in the sidebar, left sidebar, click on it, click on create. And from the page that opens, you can choose scheduled flow. Here it is. Just click on it and this page will open. There's also another way to get to this page. That is go to the my flows option. So it will show all your uh, flows here. So from here, you can click on new flow and choose scheduled cloud flow. So both these options will take you to the uh, this particular window, build a scheduled flow, scheduled cloud flow window. So first, you need to uh, enter a name here, give a name to the flow. Then you need to um, set up a start date and time. And you need to set the um, schedule here in how often you want to repeat this process. So uh, let me enter the details first. So I have uh, set up or uh, configured the options. These are the uh, details I wanted to enter. So after entering all your details, just click on create. So the flow is now created. Uh, this is the uh, tri recurrence trigger. I uh, just click on it. So you can see that uh, this flow will be running on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. So if you want to make more changes, just click on edit option here. So it will show you uh, the, these options, the interval, frequency. Frequency can be set to month, day, hour, minute, second, etc. I'm going with the option week. If you are choosing day, that's also fine. I'm going with week for now. And for more options, you can click on the show advanced options here. Click on it so that you will get more options to set up. So first of all, I would like to choose the time zone. Uh, let's go with the Pacific time, US and Canada. Yeah, that's ideal. And you can make changes to the start time here. On these days, you can set up the days here. I would choose Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So while we are making changes, you will get to see a preview here what you are choosing. So uh, you can also choose a choose the hours and minutes if you wish. I'm choosing 11 a.m. here. You can also choose minutes if you want to be very specific. I'm not going to configure that now. So uh, the flow is okay now. And next step is to add actions to this. So you can add uh, multiple actions to this flow and uh, make it work the way you want. So for that, you just need to click on new step and choose the actions you uh, prefer and just save it at last. So after making all the changes, you will we'll just uh, add a um, trial action just to show you how it is done i have chosen the get folder metadata action here so as part of that you need to choose the uh, site address i'm choosing 
uh, where's marketing updates? Yes, marketing updates. And I'm choosing the folder marketing documents too. Yeah. So it is set. Uh, you can choose any uh, number of actions. So choose the right appropriate action that will perform the action you, you want to perform. So after making um, all the changes, just click on save and your scheduled um, flow is now ready. So you can test it by clicking on test and choose manual and click on test and it will run. And you can make all other changes. But the core thing or the main idea of this video is to show you how you can schedule a flow. So if you wish to see uh, how to configure a flow, uh, a basic flow using templates or other means, you can uh, find other videos in our tutorial playlist. Uh, I'll also put a link here. So uh, let's go to the my flow section. And yeah, here it is. This is the weekly project report scheduled flow you just created, we just created. As you, as you can see, you can see that it's the scheduled type. So uh, that's how you can schedule uh, flows. Hope you got a nice idea about how to schedule a flow to run on a particular time. We'll come back with another tutorial soon. Till then, take a look at our previous videos and have a great day.